Hello, welcome or welcome back. My name is Ash and today I am going to be building a dupe of the ColourPop Winnie the Pooh palette. I don't actually th know the name of this palette. I'm sure it was something other than the Winnie the Pooh palette, but either way, that's what we're doing today. Um, I imagine this won't take very long, very quick to the point. Um, like, I don't know. I want to do this palette because it's a Winnie the Pooh palette. I, growing up, Winnie the Pooh is one of my favorite cartoons. I just really, really enjoyed it. It's very nostalgic for me. Um, I still have my Piglet and Winnie the Pooh plushies that I had as a kid. I even have a tattoo of Eeyore on my ankle. Uh, <laughs> so... You know, little nostalgia there. Um, and this palette is pretty cute. I like the color story. It's a little different than a palette that I would normally be attracted to. I think most of my attraction to the palette is the fact that it's Winnie the Pooh themed. Um, so it'll be interesting to see at the end of this if I like the color story more or less when it's isolated out of this cute little packaging that ColourPop did. Um, so let's get right to it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be going out of order, um, grabbing the shades. I'm not gonna be going from like right to left, um, in the palette. I'm just gonna go through the colors, um, of whatever eyeshadow palette I have in front of me, if that makes sense. I'm sorry, it's kind of late and I'm tired. Um, but this is the time I have to do this. So anyway, let's start with those greens. Um, normally I would want to see some matte greens in the palette, but I think it's interesting. I think it'll be interesting to use the metallic greens without any matte greens. Um, so the first one is Honey Tree, which looks like a, a bit of a softer, almost kind of mint green. Um, it's definitely not that blue toned though, not like I would, I would imagine a mint green would be. It's kind of leaning towards a sage green almost. Let's see. I do have Marvel from Tarte's uh, Make Believe in Yourself palette. This is a really beautiful shadow. It's not quite as green as Honey Tree. Maybe this. This is Ray from Beauty Bay's Wilderness palette. Um, it's actually a duochrome. Um, it's got like this very light tan kind of base color to it, but it really just comes off as green. But I like Marvel quite a bit, actually. I think I might go with Marvel. It's not exact but I think it might be the closest I can get to Honey Tree and also I just really like how it looks and I think it'll fit well in this palette when it's all said and done. Um, and then the other green is Sing Ho and I think this might be the closest. Sing Ho is like a light kind of golden olivey green. This is All of You from ColourPop's um, Just My Luck palette. I feel like the one in the Winnie the Pooh palette looks much more gold. It almost looks like a... In the palette photo, it almost looks like an antique gold. But then in the swatch photo, it looks like kind of a muted olive green. Um... I guess I also have Lime from Beauty Bay's Wilderness palette. This is a little bit brighter. Doesn't have that muted quality that Sing Ho does. I think all of you would be a good candidate for that shade. I like that. Okay, moving on to some yellow. So there are two yellows in here. The first one is a matte warm yellow called Think Think Think. I really like the name of that one. Um, 
And this looks promising. This is Dandelion from Pure and Robbie D. Christie's palette. Um, so um, I was complaining to my husband about this the other night, but um, I got both the pictures I'm using as a reference off the ColourPop website. The photo of the palette looks much lighter and brighter than the swatch photos or swatch photo excuse me um the swatches look I wouldn't say they're grungy but they definitely have this muted kind of toned down quality to them and then if you look at the palette photo everything looks very light and bright and you know more colorful than the swatches would make you think this palette is. So there's a little discrepancy there and I'm just kind of trying to find a good middle ground, I guess. Um, I also have Cider from Ace Beauté Flair. Yeah, okay, so I think Cider matches the swatch photo better, but I think Dandelion matches the palette photo better. Hmm. I think it's just a matter of which one do I prefer. Do I prefer the swatch or the palette? I kind of want to go with dandelion. I don't know. Should I? No, I'm gonna go with cider. I prefer that. I like the more toned down, muted quality of the swatches overall, so I'm probably going to lean more into that. Um, and then there is a gold in here called Make Believe. And I mean, I think this looks the most similar in the swatch, like um, the swatch and the palette are the most similar looking, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but it's just kind of a softer, warm gold. I think kind of like maybe this. Mm, that's a little orange, but I think that could, well, actually that might be it. What are you? It's also kind of on the orange side, although I think it's a little bit more gold. It's also a little bit more sparkly rather than just straight metallic like that first one. Speaking of, that first one is Pin Curls from Blend Bunny's Dollhouse. I know this is a Beauty Bay shade. That is Fossil from Beauty Bay Wilderness. Um, I might go with Pin Curls. Make Believe looks very metallic, but it doesn't look super sparkly. And I think this uh, pink curls might be a little bit more orange than Make Believe is supposed to be. But I think it'll work. And I think it'll work with the palette when I'm when I'm all done. I <laughs> I feel like I'm coming off very nonchalant. Like I don't really care how this palette's gonna look. I, I do care how it's going to look. It just feels like a very simple palette to put together, if that makes sense. I don't feel like I have to overthink it too much. So, All right, and then we have a couple browns. So the very first one, it's that first shade in the palette called Smackaroo. Sorry, right? yeah, Smackaroo. Um, one reason I didn't like the Pooh Bear palette is because there are at least three sequin shades, Smackaroo. Oh gosh, I can't read that, the light's reflecting. I think it says Best Friends, that middle shade in the second row, and then Rumbly, that light pink in the second row, um, the second to last shade. They're all sequin shades, and I don't like sequin shades. So I guess, you know, Already, my version's gonna be better for me because I don't like the sequin shades. Um, but Smackaroo is a warm orangey brown, which I might actually have to get out of my oranges. Let's see. 
Yeah, you know, I think I might have to get it from here. This is looking promising. This is Earth from Beauty Bay's Wilderness palette. I think the tone of that is pretty close, but it is a little bit darker than I want it to be. Um, what are you? Eccentric from ABH's Norvina palette. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's, I think that's pretty spot on actually. So I'll put that in here for Smackaroo. Um, and then just while I have my oranges out, um, there's one other orange in here called Pooh Bear and it is a burnt orange. And I think it's burnt orange, but it's got a, some brightness to it. I think that's going to be too bright. I like that though. Okay, so that first one I swatched is Pumpkin from Ace Beauté's Flare Palette. And this one that I'm going with is Enigma from Blend Bunny Blends. Really, really good matte burnt orange right there. Okay, and then I am going to be grabbing from my browns though a shade for, yes, Best Friends, that, that is what it's called, which is just kind of a neutral dark brown not too dark. It's like, I wouldn't call it like a, like it's not a dark brown. It's just kind of a mid-tone brown. We'll just, let's we'll call it a mid-tone brown. Um, let's see, it's not super cool or super warm. It really does feel, maybe it maybe leans more warm than cool, but it does feel like it falls pretty neutral. What are you? This is Acorn from Ace Beauté's Flare Palette. I think that's too cool. That's also very cool. That is Dystopian from ABH's Sultry Palette. Okay, maybe... still really really cool that is volatile volat oh lord i can't even speak anymore volatile from abh's um norvina palette so actually maybe maybe i'm not pulling anything from here because i feel like all of these that i have in this palette are really cool toned this is complicated from Blend Money's uh, Sugar and Grunge palette. You know, let me get my oranges back out. Maybe, maybe I put them away too soon. What are you? This is, oh, this is Fudge from ABH's Subculture palette. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, I'm gonna go with fudge. That looks like more of what I want. Okay, and then from my reds, I'm gonna grab something for In My Tumbly, which is a rich, like a really rich, um, and I call this a brick red. It's definitely a rich faded kind of red. And that is a very rich faded red. What are you? It's Earth from Ace Beauté's Classical Paradise. Could also go just a little bit redder, a little bit brighter. Mm, maybe? Okay, 
Okay, that's too bright. This first one is Taboo from Blend Bunny Surge, that one right there. And this one is Red Giant from Kaleidos Club Nebula. Actually, looking at them off to the side, I feel like Taboo might be more of what I want. I think Earth is just a little bit too dark, but Red Giant is definitely too bright for what I want. So I think I'm gonna go with uh, the Blend Bunny shade, Taboo. It took me a second, I forgot what it was called. And finally, we have a couple pinks. Um, the metallic pink is called Oh Bother. And it looks, okay, this one looks really different. Both the pinks actually look really different um, in the swatch photo and in the palette photo. So in the palette photo, they both, both look like really bright, light, kind of bubblegum pink shades. And then in the swatch photo, Oh Bother looks like a peachy metallic. It doesn't even look pink really. It looks kind of like a peach. And Rumbly, which is the matte pink, looks like, a, like almost a mauve. It's a very toned down, almost kind of grayish pink to me. So this will be interesting. Um, so I think for Oh Bother, I'm going to go a little bit warmer with this, but I'm not gonna go all the way into peach. Like maybe something like this, this is Peacocky from ColourPop's Lovebird palette. Running out of room. Mm. Or Celestial from um, Kaleidos' Club Nebula palette. It's got a little bit of a golden uh, color to it. It's it's a little bit duochromatic, so it goes from like a warm pink to a cool pink, but it also has a little bit of gold. Yeah, I think I think I like that. I'm gonna go with uh, Celestial. I feel like that would work better in here than like that bright bubblegum pink that um, Oh Bother looks like in the palette photo. And then for Rumbly, I like the faded kind of toned down pink in the swatch photo a little bit better. And it's reminding me of Love from ABH's Norvina palette. I feel like that's really similar to what I'm seeing in the swatch photo. And I like it. Okay, well, there you go. That is the dupe that I have of the ColourPop Winnie the Pooh palette. Um, I don't know if this palette particularly um, reminds me of Winnie the Pooh, like just the colors in isolation like this when they're not in the cute Winnie the Pooh themed packaging. I don't know if I'm getting Winnie the Pooh from the color story, but it is cute and it feels like a very cohesive palette, so I like that. Um, but I don't know. I am... I am intrigued by it. I don't know if I love it, but I am intrigued. And I'm looking forward to using it and seeing what I can come up with. If nothing else, this feels like a... Um, like a very approachable, kind of
kind of fall palette like it definitely has some fall vibes but it feels very easy to approach anyway that is gonna be it for me like i said it's it i almost said it's tired and i'm late oh my god <laughs> it is late and i am tired and i want to go to bed so that is where i'm going to leave this thank you so much for watching i do hope you enjoyed and i will see you when i see you bye